Generation Iron app on Google Play and the App Store. I was never going to be a men's physique. Didn't have much of an off-season. I like his physique better. I'm always very energetic. I will have to put me as one of the greatest. Mr. Olympia was won by the back. So that was, that was surprising, man. So tell me about this tattoo, why you decided to get it. This, we'll, we'll, and tell me about this tattoo, actually. What kind of, what kind of art is it exactly? It's a, it's a, uh, it's a Japanese um, um, style. I'm trying, trying to show you. It's, a, it's a, a, the Phoenix. So I, um, I had a guy, uh, I, I designed it and, and had this idea. Um, and look, I, I avoided getting tattoos um, this my your whole first life. One. This is your first one, right? Yeah, the first major. The first one, all or <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Just went all out, everything. And look, I, I, look, I, um, I avoided tattoos. Um, obviously, for, for, for throughout my family didn't like them. They didn't, you know, they're against them and stuff. And um, even though I got friends head to toe covered tattoos. I never wanted to get them at the start because of my career and bodybuilding and possibly, you know, whether it was film, uh, film TV, all that sort of stuff. And then I, I figured. Um, I, I always liked them and stuff, and I think especially today, it's uh, it's a lot more accepted in culture and stuff. It's not as frowned upon as it might have been a few decades ago and stuff. Um, and I wanted to get, uh, I really wanted to get this this arm done after I had my injuries and stuff. Uh, oh, I thought of the phoenix just because it's like the it's a bird that comes back, it rises again, it, um, it's defeated, it comes back. So for me, it was a symbolic sort of a tattoo in that it was um, something to remind me that. No matter the hardships and everything, you know, it's like a, a fresh start for me every time I, I go through something, you know, challenging. So, and people said, they said, you you ruined your physique. You're never going to do well in competing. You know, I, I wanted then to. You won, you won two weeks later. I won. It doesn't matter. You have a tattoo. You don't. At the end of the day, it just, that just depends on whether you like them or not. And obviously, if you say that, you obviously don't like tattoos. So, you know, it's just a, it's, yeah. So for me, it was, um, it was just a thing that I just, uh, yeah, just kind of had a bit of a meaning and I figured I, I've had 30 years clean skin. Um, so I wanted to change it up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> How long did it take to get this uh, whole arm done? And was it hurt? Was it, uh, was it painful? Yeah, it was. Um, so I did it. It took me about 38 hours total around 38 hours. Um, and yeah, it does. It, it does sting a little bit in certain areas. It, it definitely hurts, but I, I've got a pretty good pain threshold and I've been through a lot worse. So I kind of, it's kind of therapeutic in a way for me just to, to get it, to be honest, it kind of turns my mind off from other things. And um, yeah, give me, gives me a time to catch up on my, uh, on my anime shows too, my Netflix series. So yeah. Are you going to get a second arm done or like more, more tattoos on the body? Uh, no, this is it for now. I'm just going to let, let this one, um, let this be for a while. And unless I think of something, if something comes up in the future, but I haven't got any plans for, for more right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, what everybody wants to know right now is what's next for you. So you got the pro card, you can compete in all the pro shows now. Um, I don't know what you qualify for Olympia this year or not. I'm not sure, but, um, what's, yeah. what's the next step? The next, uh, the next thing for me would be, um, well, right now it's just to focus on, um, my physique and, and I will, um, having a little break from the from um, training, uh, just to, just to like detox, have a have a bit of an off season now. Work on building up my weak points, my my quads, um, my back. So really, I just want to focus on training and and uh, do a, a proper off season. Put on some size on my weak areas, and then maybe next year, uh, looking at towards the end, late next year, maybe August, September, maybe look at a, a pro show then. But uh, we'll, we'll just see how next year plays out. We'll see how I can prep for it. We'll see how, you know, how my body can, uh, can how I can work and how, if I can put on, you know, enough size to be prepared to, to, to execute and, uh, and, uh, and take out a pro show. Then I'll, then I'll enter. I won't go in um, unprepared though. So you don't feel like you're yeah, ready yet. But, you don't feel like you don't feel like you're, you. You feel like you still need time to, to get ready before going the process. Yeah, yeah I, I I know I can do better. I, don't, I know like compared to what I've been doing the last two years, and compared to what other competitors would have been doing. Like I've had a really slack, you know, training um, regime in the last kind of. Um, it's been up and down. You know, I haven't been consistent. Hasn't, hasn't been focused. So I look at how I've been in the last years and how I look at how I could 
improve that and uh, and really focus. And if I really um, apply myself, I know I could bring in a much better um, uh, uh, complete package than than what I've had back then or what I've got now. So I'll do that probably, Vlad. And I'll, unless something else comes up with career-wise or opportunity, um, this is really the, the thing that's it's kind of I've got a, got a bit of a spark. It's been lit again. Um, that 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 flame that kind of went out after my injuries. I've kind of reignited it, so I'm I'm happy to to to, to train again um, and, and do that sort of stuff. Especially again, while the expos and things are cancelled, um, I may as well most most of this. Yeah, yeah.